been watching so many videos about the effects of mouth breathing and mm. I am scared and shocked. It's true. There's a lot of things Basically, that happen with mouth breathing. Basically, for my whole life, I always remember sleeping with my mouth open a little bit. Like, I'm on my pillow like this, and my mouth just naturally falls open. You don't know how many people do this. You got tons of people that breathe with their mouth open. And basically, you know them because they have their mouth breathing, you know. <laughs> but it can cause a lot of issues. But let's keep watching. But apparently, it causes your jaw to shift back. Gives true. you, like, a double chin. Makes your nose shift down. Makes your eyes look very, very tired with um, mm. less prominent cheekbones. All that is actually true. See, basically, what happens is as you grow and go through puberty and everything, that actually that oxygen level of you trying to breathe in and gasp and all that stuff actually does cause your face to change and grow in a different way in fact the people with mouth breathing have a longer faces and the people who <laughs> nose breathe actually have kind of shorter faces kind of squattier faces kind of like mine you know i got a really short face i don't have this long along our face. It's called doliocephalic, and then we've got bradycephalic, which is the short square heads. So I'm going to start taping my lips shut to train myself to sleep with my mouth shut. And throughout the day, I'm just gonna be very mindful about making sure that my tongue's at the roof of my mouth, my lips are shut, and I'm always breathing through my uh, nose, sorry. Okay, so that's good and all. And I mean, these are good things to learn, you know, for breathing wise and things like that. So you're not snoring at night and all that type of stuff. But taping your lips shut and doing all that now is it's not going to change anything. You've already gone through puberty. You've already had your jaw grows. So you've already grown into the person that you are, unless you're like 12 years old about to go through puberty. But I'm pretty sure you're past like 20 something. So you're pretty much locked in at that point. So breathing now is going to help you with some of your dark eye circles. You'll probably start getting some good uh, oxygen at night, maybe sleeping better. You'll also really find out really quickly if it's even possible for you to do that. Because you may have an issue where you need like a sleep pap or, you you know, it's one of those type of scenarios where you aren't breathing very good and you can't physically do it because your tongue's too big or your airway's too small. And then you may figure out you got some sleep disorders, but it shouldn't change the, the face or the shape at all, ever. And I'm just gonna track how it affects my sleeping. And so she basically did this over a couple months and she's like, basically everybody's freaking out that she changed so much. So let's see here. Okay, so looking at that right out of the gate, what we do is what you're gonna do is trace a line from here to here on this chin line. And so if you really make a line from there, it looks like her upper lip is behind that line. Her lower lip touches it and it hits the chin. If we do that same thing here, goes through, goes down. It does look like her lower lip is out a little bit more, but you see more than likely what we've got with this situation is she just basically did this. She just shifted her jaw a little bit more forward because now she's placing her tongue in the right area. She's used to uh, trying to hold her mouth closed, um, a lot of things like that. So if you are breathing a little bit better, maybe she's posturing her jaw a little bit more forward. And the reason why you do that when you have your lips shut and closed is actually if your chin's back here, you can't really breathe very good because it's locking off your back period. So what you do is if you if you really make your, your jaw go forward, then you have a lot more airway. <laughs> I can breathe a lot better. So more than likely it had no effect on the change of her jaw or anything like that. All it really did was she is just really just kind of shifting her jaw just slightly more forward. It's also probably due to the hair being down. You can see her nose looks way different here, right? And so it's just really a positioning. She's a little more turned towards the camera here. She's more straight on here. So it is kind of all this kind of VFX type of stuff. You can see that she's really kind of sucking in here, maybe doing the mew technique. You know, I can make my jaw look way different just sucking in my stuff like that. Um, and maybe if she has the, the, the tongue to the roof of her mouth, she's sucking in more. So, I mean, it can make a difference. Um, but all these things are not going to physically change the shape of your jaws or nose or anything. All that bony growth happens until puberty is over when you're about 18 years old and then there's there's no more left so unless you're getting plastic surgery you're not going to physically change the shape of your jaw but if you're a kid and you're a mouth breather and you're doing this when you're like eight years old nine ten you're, you're watching this at 10 11 12 even 13 14 you could get some some different growth patterns happening um just by changing the way you breathe so before here we're looking her face looks a little bit wider more than likely it's just due to framing of the hair and she's a little bit closer to the camera here you can see how close these are versus these to the side we kind of went over already um, pretty much she's just shifting her lower jaw out just a hair bit more by posturing to breathe better she's probably also mewing or doing the mew technique where she's sucking in and suctioning her tongue to the roof of her mouth to get a little more pronounced jaw and she's also tanner all of these things show definition more the other way when she went to 
the right, it looked a lot better. Now this way to the left, she actually looks worse on this side versus this side. You know, you do your little thing where it looks like we're touching all lips and nose, but we go to this side and it looks like her upper lip is now behind everything, which is not good. Basically what that's telling me is it's it's really just posture. Down, I don't know what the point of this one is. You're, you're not gonna change. Maybe she was trying to show like maybe some eyes or something, uh, but there's no change there at all. Going up. Um, once again, you can see just how much more suction and stuff is here. It could be just, you know, tanness, jawline, something like that. Hair's down, so it's putting a little more emphasis on certain different places. Really, though, no change at all. So basically, you can't breathe and change your jaw shape. Who wouldn't know? Bye!